Hello everybody, I'm Dan. Welcome to my Java tutorial series. All the source code for each video tutorial is located on my website at javacjava.com. Throughout my tutorials I will teach you Java using just notepad and the command prompt. This tutorial is on character literals. I'm going to go ahead and open up my website, javacjava.com. Click on the begin button. Scroll down to the character literals tutorial. And character literals can be represented in a couple of different ways. The standard representation for a character literal is a single character inside a pair of single quotes. So we have got our char data type, our variable name of A, and our Simon operator was assigning this character literal, which is single quote, uppercase A, single quote. Here's another character literal, single quote, one, single quote. If you haven't watched my tutorials on the char data type and the hexadecimal literals, then the rest of this paragraph may not make much sense. The char data type is an unsigned 16-bit Unicode character. A character literal can be represented using Unicode notation. Unicode notation is the prefix of backslash lowercase u followed by four hexadecimal digits all enclosed in a pair of single quotes. Okay, So we have our, our char data type our variable name of uppercase A, and then we have our character literal here in Unicode notation. So we've got our forward slash U, which is what's called an escape code, and then we've got 0041. And if you remember from my hexadecimal literals tutorial there, that um, you know this is the one is in the ones column, the four is in the sixteens column. So 4 times 16 is 64 plus 1 equals decimal 65, right? Decimal 65 in the ASCII chart is the equivalent of the um, letter, uppercase letter A, okay? Over here, the next one we've got, hexadecimal 43. Um, 3 is in the 1's column, 4 is in the 16's column. 4 times 16 is 64 plus 3, which is decimal 67. Decimal 67 is the ASCII letter C. 4 in the 1's column, 5 in the 16's column. 5 times 16 is 80 plus 4, so decimal 84, which is the ASCII letter T. Okay, we're ready to go ahead and uh, do a short little, short little program here. There's not a whole lot to character literals. We'll go ahead and pull that off screen, go to start, search, type in CMD. If you're running Windows 7 or earlier, you can go to start, run, type in CMD. We'll type in Java C, press enter, you should see all this stuff scroll on your screen. If you don't, then go ahead and watch my, uh, my tutorial on installing the Java development kit, the JDK, because you'll need that installed properly for these tutorials to be effective. Go ahead and type in CLS to clear the screen, CD space backslash. CD is short for change directory and backslash tells it to go to the root. I'm going to do an MD which is short for make directory Java. I already have it, but if you didn't, you would, uh, it would go ahead and create it for you. I'm going to change directories to the Java and we're going to do a MD and we're just going to call this uh, character literals, yeah. CD and then I'm going to hit C and then I'm going to hit the tab key on my keyboard. That'll automatically fill in that based on the directory structure. Type in notepad character literals.java. So character literals.java is going to be our source code file, also known as a compilation unit. Create that, hit control V to paste, or you can right click and select paste. Go ahead and save this. It's pretty simple what we've got here. Here's a character literal, here's a character literal, here's another character literal in Unicode notation. Here's a, another character literal in Unicode and another character. We're simply going to print out these values here using the print line function on the first two and then we're going to do the print function on the C and the A and the T. Okay, So let's go ahead and pop back here, type in CLS to clean up our screen, Java C and I'm going to hit type in C and then hit tab so it'll go ahead and auto fill that in for us there. We'll compile it. Looks good. I'm going to type Java space C, hit tab again. We don't want to, when we're, when we're using the Java command line uh, tool there, basically we want to pass it the name of the 
class that we want to invoke. Actually, not the name of the, the physical file there, but the name of the class inside of the dot class file. So uh, let's go ahead and press enter on that, and we get exactly what we were expecting there. We've got our A and our 1 and then our CAT printed off there. Since we didn't do the print LN, which is the print line feed afterwards, went ahead and put it all in one line. You might be asking, well, why didn't I just do something like this? Um, plus A plus T. Let's go ahead and hit save, and we'll go ahead and recompile this. I'll hit the up arrow twice on the keyboard. And I'll hit the down arrow, and bada boom, bada bing. And it's like, okay, well that's weird. 216 AT. Well, that's that's bizarre. How about we just change this to a, a print line, and let's come down here, type in system dot out dot print line and print. That way it's kind of back to the way it was, but we just got a new line in there, okay? Let's go ahead and do a clear screen, compile it, run it, bada boom, bada bing. A1216, and then cat, okay? So what happened here is instead of concatenating the letters C, A, and T, it literally took the additions operator and added the values of, um, C, A, and T, right? So, and it did them into decimal too, by the way. So it literally, basically what it did, if I pull my, pull my browser back over here, right? And it added up 65 plus 67 plus 84 equals 216. So that's what happened there. So it's kind of interesting. In future tutorials, I'll go over a little bit about the print line function and how you can, um, how it actually works when you're, when you're doing certain stuff there. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Close out of that. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.